Okay, Alex6258 asked if I could do a tutorial on the best software to have on your PC. So I'm just going to do a quick rundown of a lot of software, freeware software that I like to use. The first thing I want to cover is like, if you like to look at PDFs, you'll notice that uh, Adobe Reader is really slow. So an alternative, a great alternative, is the Foxit Reader. It's a great PDF reader that's lightweight, really fast, and you can even install it portably with a few modifications. Now if you like to do uh, instant messaging or anything like that, I like to use Pigeon IM. It's a free IM client that lets you communicate on all these protocols at once. AIM, Bonjour, Google Talk, ICQ, MySpace IM, Yahoo, all those. And it's really great. As far as a uh, web browser, the web browser I like to use is, obviously, Mozilla Firefox. Uh, I think Firefox 3 is the best browser on the market right now. Now, as far as um, antivirus software, I use AVG Free. And you can see the icon right there. I like it because Norton and McAfee are really system resource hungry. And AVG is not so. There are other freeware alternatives you can use like Avast or other options. But I like AVG because it is free. And you can get it from free.avg.com. If you download and install this, this is going to ask you if you want to install like a web shield. And it will... It's basically an extension for your browser that checks all links for viruses, but I don't really think it's necessary. Now, another neat little program I like to use is called CCleaner. It's a program that cleans your registry, deletes all your temporary files, shows you what loads on startup, let you uninstall programs from it, all from a neat little user interface, and it's free. And I like to run it. And I think it works really well, so I would recommend that you download it. Now, if you'd like to use, uh, do any kind of like creating images or image editing or artwork or stuff like that, there's a free alternative to Photoshop. It's known as GIMP Shop. And you can get it from GIMPShop.com. You can download it from here. It's not quite there where Photoshop is yet, but it's getting there and it's free. It's really cool. Now, for um, CD and DVD burning, stuff like that, a free software that I use is called Infra Recorder. And you can download it off SourceForge. And let's check some screenshots. And as you can see, there we go. And it just lets you burn uh, audio CDs, DVDs, data DVDs. It'll create ISOs. It'll burn ISOs. It'll do all that wonderful stuff that Roxio and other commercial software uses, but it's a lot less resource hungry. Now, if you're looking for video and audio codecs, I suggest you download the K-Lite codec pack. You can get it from freecodecs.com. It is a great, just a, a great resource. It has all the codecs you'll ever need if you want to watch, listen to any audio file or watch any video file on the internet. You need to download this codec pack. And it also comes with Media Player Classic. It's an alternative to Windows Media Player that looks like the old school Windows Media Player back in the Windows 95 days, but it runs amazingly fast and it's a lot better than the current version of Windows Media Player. Now if you want to do any screen recording, I suggest you use Cam Studio, which is the program I'm using now. And you can download the 2.5 beta, which is what I'm using now. And I really think it's cool. And it works with any codec basically. If you want to use this in Vista, you do need to use the um, PCM audio codec. Because Vista doesn't seem to like any other audio codecs right now. If you want to do any video editing, I'd suggest you use Virtual Dub. Which is a free video editing program. You can get it from virtualdub.org. 
and it lets you do a lot of cool stuff and apply a lot of filters to your video editing. Now if you want to do FTP, I suggest you get FileZilla. It's a freeware FTP client that you can get and it's very cool. If you do any web development, I suggest you download XAMPP, which is a it's um, PHP, Perl, and Apache Web Server, MySQL, all that bundled into one installer. Or you can just uh, do a portable version of it, which is really cool. It also has a Tomcat add-on. It's really good if you want to do any type of web development. If you want to do any coding, there's a great source code editor called Notepad++. That has syntax highlighting tabs for a bunch of different languages, and it's very cool. And you can also get this off SourceForge. Now, if you want to know any type of information about your computer, like your hardware setup, or any of that lovely stuff, I use a program called the System Information Viewer. And it's called um, SIW for short. It's a very cool program that just gives you more information than you will ever need about your system. If you are into torrents and want to download off torrents, the best torrent client out there is, in my opinion, is uTorrent. It's um, a lightweight standalone BitTorrent client. It's very cool. 260 kilobytes on Windows. If you want a freeware zip RAR utility, I like 7-zip. And you get it from 7-zip.org. It's very cool. It'll handle any type of zip file that you'll ever need to use. And another thing I'd like to tell you guys about is portable apps. These days you can run a lot of software just straight off of a folder off your hard drive. And portableapps.com is a great website to get some of these applications from. A lot of the applications I was talking about, Notepad, XAMPP, the GIMP, FileZilla, you can Pigeon, you can run them all portably from a folder off your hard drive. And I'll put some links to some other great portable web portable software websites in the um, description section of this video but I'll just show you one or two real quick that I like to run C Cleaner I can run it portably Cam Studio it's portable by default Virtual Dub I'll just open up C Cleaner real quick and this is all running straight from a folder uh, it makes no modifications to my registry or anything like that at all so I seriously suggest you guys check it out and this has been another tutorial by Josh. Thanks.